This episode seems like it's going to be a wild ride just on the title. My wife's insane behavior and how it changed us. Let's see what this is all about, including the updates. Hello all, never once did I think I would get to this point, to the point of reaching out to strangers on the internet for guidance, but here we are. My wife and I have been together for 10 years, but married for 8. We met in college, and were each other's first and only. I honestly thought we had a unique and beautiful relationship because of that, but it appears that was just me. Some time ago, my wife began working at a new company. At first, she found it difficult to fit in because she's always been reserved, but after encouragement from me, she made friends with a group of girls some of whom were single, divorced, or dating, but none married. At first, I was happy she made friends, but then she started going out for drinks, partying, or some other thing her friends had planned. I became concerned by her changing behavior and tried to talk to her about it, but at the same time didn't want to restrict her in any way. It started to affect our relationship in the bedroom. My wife wasn't one to initiate intimacy, but with her continued going out, she was either too tired or wasn't in the mood. At some point, her company got a new manager whom my wife and her friends had taken a shining to. She began mentioning him in passing, but it got to a point where she was pointing out how he handled certain problems that didn't seem to be work-related. I questioned her on her fascination with this man, and she brushed off my concerns. She even started asking if I regretted not having more experience with women, to which I said no, because she is all I ever needed. I swore I thought for a moment I saw a flash of sadness in her eyes, but she quickly changed the subject. She started mentioning open marriages as a way to spice up our marriage, I was taken aback because my wife was never this kind of person, and not that liberal sexually to be honest. I at first refused, and questioned if this had anything to do with the new manager, to which she denied, but said she felt like she missed out, but at the same time didn't want to lose me, so this was a safer option. I warned her that she was playing with fire, then reluctantly and naively agreed. So we set some rules, mainly not to sleep with another person in our home. So for a year, and my wife goes on dates, has one night stands, then as if I didn't see it coming, somehow is in some kind of relationship with that manager. I on the other hand, had a few dates, but no one night stands. Because, freaky, it felt wrong to me. My wife would ask if I was fine, but really wouldn't change her behavior. At some point, I felt the love I had for her, that pure, special innocence of marriage was gone, and it was killing me inside. I ended going on a date with an amazing woman who migrated over from South Korea. The conversation was effortless. She had the wit of a lightning fast whip crack and a smile that had one forget himself. This of course led me to more dates until we were intimate. I honestly never had sex like I had with this woman. I never knew a woman could be so giving and made one feel so desirable. At first, my wife thought it was cute, but as the months went by, she began questioning my relationship with my lover. I promptly pointed out that this was her idea and even she was in a relationship with the manager I was concerned about. She was silent looked like she wanted to say something, but held her tongue. She began coming home early to surprise me with dinner and get the house extra clean. She soon started coming to my workplace to drop off lunch and began to initiate intimacy in the bedroom. Honestly, if it wasn't for her opening up our marriage, which I'm also to blame for agreeing, all this would have had me jumping for joy. I barely gave in to her attempts at intimacy, and when I did, it was simply to get it over with. Something in me towards my wife died, and I could see she felt it too. I asked what brought on this change in her, what was different. The response I got was that she wants to show me that she loves me and is happy with me. I never intended to, but I burst out laughing. I asked about her little group of friends, her manager lover, or her one night stands. She didn't respond that day and simply went to bed in tears. The next day, I get home to find her waiting for me. She told me she wants to close the marriage, that this whole experience was a horrible mistake that she regrets everything and wants us to be the focus of our relationship again. I told her to be honest with me and tell me what inspired all this in the first place, and wouldn't you know it, it was her group of friends that planted the idea because of their numerous sexual exploits, and when her manager came around, he surprisingly supported that lifestyle and encouraged my wife to live free. Apparently, it developed into an emotional affair, but only got physical once the marriage opened. Wow, like that makes it better. She described it as being drunk behind the wheel of a speeding car, it was thrilling and intoxicating, but the price of this decision has become too much for her to bear. She sees now that she never needed a comparison, that what we had was truly unique and special, but now she feels like she murdered our marriage and any chance of a life together. I told her I might not ever be able to see her as my wife again, and this made her break down in front of me. I simply held her in silence as she cried until she fell asleep in my arms on the couch. She has since left her job and cut contact with all of her friends 
and her manager, and even told me she's willing to spend the rest of my life making it up to me and work her fingers to the bone to be seen as a wife by me, but I haven't cut contact with my lover. My lover, quite frankly, makes me feel like a man, like I can challenge the world and my wife hasn't in a while. Truth is, I don't know what to do in this situation. I would love to get the special feeling back if possible, but my lover basically saved me when I was at my lowest. Please help me. Oh, forgot to add, we have our first marriage counseling session in a couple of hours. Not sure how that will go. Sounds like the plan backfired on somebody. Let's see what the community says. Rest in you thinks, well, play stupid games and win stupid prizes. Honestly, people have great lives and somehow they feel like they don't. And in the process of trying to fix what's not broken, eventually break it. Super Nothing Burger chimes in. Honestly, she should go to HR and report the manager. The power imbalance in this situation, manager encouraging his underlings to explore their sexuality, throws the whole thing into question. I bet the company doesn't know this guy is keeping a harem going in the office. The OP responds with, I honestly suspect you're correct. I'm particularly bitter about the fact that he seems to get off scot-free while my world implodes. All right, let's get back to the story now with update one. The therapist seemed nice and experienced. She appeared unbiased and actually eager to help. Even though it was our very first session, my wife took it as an opportunity to lay it all out, it seems. She confessed that this group of friends made her wonder if she had missed her chance because she was committed to her first boyfriend and had no other experiences. That she never had the same adventures some of these supposedly amazing women had. Remember some of whom are divorced, but none are married. The therapist pointed out that this can be, and often is, detrimental to a marriage due to the difference in mindset. My wife seemed to agree, then added that after the new manager started approaching her, some of these friends encouraged her to see where it goes, that this was a chance for her to explore or discover herself. She obviously felt guilty, so she says, so she never did anything physical until one of the divorced ones suggested an open marriage as a loophole and told her that some couples come out stronger because of it. So, after regrettably, again so she says, convincing me to open up the marriage, her so-called adventure began. It was intoxicating and blinding, but lacked real substance. Not like the kind we built over the years, and she started to question her reasons for doing this. She said she could see the hurt in my eyes, but told herself this was an adventure. She said she'll never forgive herself for this. It was her chance to have an amazing experience, so the gravity of it all never hit her until she noticed the change in me. At first, she assumed because I went on dates, I was gradually accepting her situation and be okay with it, but that all changed when my lover became a constant appearance in my adventure. Apparently, I started to smile again for no reason, and my eyes would light up when I would get a text message or when I cheerfully left the room to answer a call. She said she suddenly felt a pit in her stomach and started to get many panic attacks for no reason. She went to her friends for advice, but again, they said it was a normal reaction for me to have during the adventure. But when the same divorced one who suggested this in the first place said, it looks like his lover makes him happy, is when the reality of it all finally dawned on her and the very real possibility that another woman and not his wife gave him joy almost made her pass out. She realized how ridiculous this all was and begged them to help her win me back, but they just told her if she couldn't deal with it, why did she open her marriage in the first place? She knew then and there that these people were toxic and a threat to our marriage and the life we built. Hence, she's been on a mission to win me back by any means necessary. I, on the other hand, didn't share as much, but I did let the counselor know about the situation on my side with my lover still in the picture, to which the counselor said no resolution could ever be reached with the lover still in the picture and suggested we book another appointment after tomorrow. The counselor did say it was unusual for someone to stay with their first this long and gave the impression that any storm can be weathered, I highly suspect she wants us to be one of her success stories. Sorry that it's long, but I figured I might as well give a full update. Rest in You came back again with, Let me get this straight. Your wife was envious of divorced people's lifestyle? What the hell is happening in the world that a person with a failed marriage is being envied? Let your toxic friends help you play stupid games. They won't be there when you win stupid prizes. Hatersaurus Rex wanted to add, Ha! My ex's core friend group are all right in the spot where she is now, 40-ish, miserable, banging married dudes just to have someone in their lives, and bemoaning the fact that there are no good men out there. Every one of them was envious of our relationship. They made comments to her constantly about how they hoped they could find a man as good as me, and most of them also cheered her on and even facilitated her meeting and screwing other men. There are plenty of good men out there. If a woman wants to hold on to one, she needs to keep those legs closed. It's that simple. The OP's thoughts on this. Why is this even a thing? If only she didn't do this. 
If only we would have spoken of things properly, perhaps we could have resolved things. But I too am at fault for agreeing to this in the first place. I just wanted to avoid the situation where she cheated on me behind my back, as messed up as it sounds. Captain Hook 5 says, I hear you, my friend. She had put you in a very tough spot. And you being inexperienced in handling that situation, caved into what she wants. In my opinion, even if you disagree with the open marriage, she still would have gone through with her affair. I 100% believe that. She checked out of your marriage before you. Now she wants to check back in because you are happy with someone else? Someone that actually values you as a person and actually gives back instead of just taking? If you will not mind me asking, in your relationship with your wife, was she as giving as your girlfriend? Has she put in the effort in your marriage before she noticed that your girlfriend actually makes you happy? I don't mean to offend, but based on your posts, it seems like your wife is still looking after herself instead of you. Who would want to stay in a marriage like that? Be happy, OP. Do the right thing by you. You already know the answer. The OP's response? It's like I turned into a whole other person when this began, and once her adventure ended, it's like she became a Stepford wife on steroids. All of a sudden, nuclear family values matter a whole lot more to her than they used to before. Even with my jogging, she never once joined me for either my jogging or my judo practices, but now she wants to be super involved. Putch80 comments, And, make no mistake, the loving person she is trying to pretend she is is just an act. As soon as the other woman is out of the picture, she will drop the facade. I'll be honest, I'm still rooting for you to wake up and realize that you've got a much better fish on the line than your wife. You found someone who genuinely makes you happy, and you're risking that to stay with someone who clearly knew she was hurting you, but just didn't give a crap. Chasing random dick as an adventure was more important to her. She only started to care about her relationship with you, but still not actually caring about you once the marriage and the comfort it provides to her was threatened. That's not love, that's gold digging. Captain Hook again chimes in. She is forcing herself to be involved because she knows that she is losing you. What about your girlfriend? What are the things that she gives you that your wife never gave you? I'm asking as these answers will help you solidify a decision. The OP's response was like this. Well, like I said, my lover makes me feel like a man. What I mean is, when I've had a hard day, I'm not greeted by cold indifference, but by a warm hug and a listening ear. When my insecurities play up, she encourages me that nothing is beyond my reach. More than anything, and this may sound sexist, so apologies, she gives me the space to be the man in the relationship. What I mean is my lover is of the belief that women were meant to do the things men can't do. Again, I think this has something to do with her culture. She believes men aren't as nurturing or compassionate as women, thus in her view, gentle heart can calm a raging volcano. A Korean proverb or saying or something. She believes that she could rule the bedroom and make it exciting, but never belittle me or encroach on my space and other areas. She believes men have far fewer needs than women, so once these are met, the man would basically slay the dragon for the woman. Now I must admit, she does believe in equal pay and mutual respect, but not the extremes that people seem to go to these days. Like I said, it may come off as sexist, but I think that's largely due with her culture. Now let's hear from Super Nothing Burger again. Okay, OP, time for a slap. Bear with me. Like I said, my lover makes me feel like a man. I assume you are in the West. In the West, this is a very, very small percentage of women who will happily do this for you. I managed to find one after years of dealing with the other kind, so I know what I'm talking about. You're talking about like 1% of highly in-demand women, and you've managed to land one. Now, let's talk about your wife for a second. She was a woman who had everything she wanted in life, but ultimately, she let an outsider tell her, here's all the reasons you should put the person who is passionate about you, your one and only, on the shelf, and open all your holes for a guy who couldn't give a crap about you, but definitely wants to screw. Sounds like what you're doing with your wife and lover right now. Are you determined to be like your wife? Will you take a girl who has eyes only for you and let her hang out to dry because you've got some idea in your imagination, who your wife used to be in your history, and will dump a loving girl for someone who is married to you to check the got married box between affairs? If you are determined to be like your wife, then by all means, stay with her. Here's the warning. Your wife only wants you now because you look like a catch because another girl wants to steal you. That won't last after you drop career girl. You'll be back to square one. And when that happens, you'll have lost both your wife and career girl. Because a woman who makes a man feel like a man is in high demand. And then you'll be back on here in a year posting, aw crap. But wait, there's another update. One, 
if she was sure nothing physical happened before the opening of the marriage. She looked towards the ground and begged me not to make her say it. She said if she had said it, then it would destroy us, but after some pushing, she shared that it wasn't physical, but they touched themselves in front of each other. This douchebag convinced her that since it wasn't physical, or sort of, it wasn't technically cheating, and that they were simply enjoying each other's full beauty. I was absolutely floored by this, and she started shaking and hyperventilating. Snot even began flowing from her nostrils as she cried and apologized to me. At this point, even the counselor was taken aback and had a look of disbelief. My wife got on her knees and hugged my legs, saying how sorry she was. 2. I then asked her what really changed her view of him. She said after she started pulling back from the group as a whole, his behavior towards her changed. Then one evening, as she was leaving a meeting, she passed his office and heard him speaking about her to another male colleague. He said he was surprised at how easy it was to get her, and how she is living proof that you can't trust the quiet ones. When the colleague asked if he actually fancied her, his response was that she was a pleasant distraction, and that he had absolutely no intention of breaking up with his fiancée. He even added that this was simply to get it out of his system because the only woman who has ever understood him was his fiancée, and he didn't want to break up with her. He also mentioned how he felt bad for me, but you snooze, you lose. My wife, upon realizing that she was nothing more than a piece of meat to this man, added by the fact that she betrayed me for a cheap thrill, actually made her suicidal in the moment. She said she left her workplace and vomited in the parking lot. She also added that her first thoughts were, what have I done? And my name, please forgive me, I'm so sorry. Three, I then asked her if she loved him and when it was that she stopped loving me. She looked me dead in the eye through tears and said she never stopped loving me, which honestly makes it worse, and that he was just something different. She thought it was love, but now realizes how foolish it was. She squeezed my arm with surprising strength and said she knows she messed up, but she misses us and the connection we had before all this. She even suggested we move away and start fresh, just the two of us, just as it was meant to be. I then told her it wouldn't be fair to my lover and that I needed time away from her to process all this. It was like she had a meltdown at those words. She started sobbing harder and saying incoherent things. She held on to me as if I was going to disappear. It took some time for both me and the counselor to calm her down. The counselor managed to convince her that maybe time apart could help us heal. Now, I wish I could end the update with just this, but as we got home, I began to pack. My wife got a video call from her laptop. It was one of her former friends in tears. It turns out that after my wife resigned, this friend and the manager began a fling of their own, but apparently she had a pregnancy scare which caused him to basically turn into Dr. Jekyll. To make matters worse, she apparently had a boyfriend who she apparently could see a future with him, and the only reason why she even had a fling was because she was curious of the experience. Funny how that seems to be a trend. Her boyfriend found out because he discovered an email between the two discussing the potential pregnancy, but the manager basically accused her of baby trapping him. Of course, he left her and the reason why she made contact is because she was under the impression that my wife managed to save our marriage and was desperately seeking advice. I just turned and left and have been staying in the apartment ever since. Our first comment after this update, Inferno X04 says, it's pretty mental how she says she loves you, never stopped loving you, but was about to do the things she did. I wouldn't recommend reconciliation with this woman unless you can completely get past all of this. If you can't see yourself getting over this, just start a new life with your lover. Anyways, good luck and everything moving forward, mate. We all believe in you. The OP thinks, To be honest, I don't see myself getting back the love I had for her. I have also spoken to a divorce attorney recommended by my brother, just in case. Matt Weow wanted to add, I'm so sorry you were going through this. When you look back in a few years, you may realize that the moment your marriage ended was when she brought up an open relationship for the second time. She knew you didn't want to, but was too greedy. Everything after that was the end game. You're doing the right thing by detaching. It appears that you know in your heart that the marriage is over and your brain is catching up to your heart. It doesn't mean you don't love your wife anymore, but what was broken cannot be repaired. As for the other man, I use that term very loosely. You owe it to his fiancée to locate her and inform her of what he is doing, and has done. This is not so much retribution as it is basic decency. Would you want to go through life not knowing that before you got married your fiancée was screwing everything in sight and breaking up marriages? She is owed the right to make her own decisions. She may know, but that is doubtful. If she doesn't know, her wedding will consist of half the guests knowing that her husband is a sleazy cheater. Save her from the embarrassment. Also, call HR at your wife's company. Even if they do nothing, there's a record that he is screwing employees left and right. It's not good for business. 
I wish you luck with your Korean woman. Now on to the last update. Well, quite a bit has happened. The former friend who had the pregnancy scare was indeed pregnant, but the stress of losing her boyfriend and being humiliated by the affair caused her to lose the baby. She basically turned ballistic, went full scorched earth on the manager. She exposed him to all upper management and his fiance. I happened to find his fiance on Facebook. I was curious. And this woman is basically the poster child of pretty small town girl. Based on her profile, she's a special needs teacher who is a homebody and is very family oriented. My very first thought was, what the hell is he doing messing around with other women when he's got her at home? Honestly, why men like him end up with women like her is one of the greatest mysteries of life. The former friend actually got in contact with me. She wanted my side of the version of events because she was collecting evidence against him, but she wanted to do it in person. She already had her COVID test and so did I, and I agreed. From the moment I saw her face, I knew she was broken. The dark circles under her eyes and her red colored irises clearly showed she didn't get any sleep and was haunted by her own thoughts. She thanked me for agreeing to meet with her and immediately apologized for her role in my wife's adventure. Turns out, her and my wife spoke again, and that's when she learned I had moved out. She didn't blame Shift and wanted to take responsibility, hence why she wanted to meet in person. I thanked her for her efforts, but asked her why she would go this far. She said losing both a child and the love of her life changed who she was at the core. She said she can hardly look in the mirror without feeling disgust, and she can hardly sleep, because all she sees is her ex's face the day he found out. This woman clearly hated herself, and this meeting might have been a form of punishment for her. She tells me since fraternizing among co-workers is a breach of conduct, and more so because he was in a position of influence, he will most likely be fired and possibly blacklisted from that field as a whole. But the same may be true for her as well, and she accepted it. She left after getting my side of the story and apologized again. I needed to get a few things from the old place, so I picked a time when I thought my wife wasn't home. Unfortunately, she was there, but what surprised me is that she had most of our wedding photos out on the coffee table as well as others and she was staring at them. When she noticed me, I could see she was crying. She tried to hug me, but I gently pushed her aside. She tried to offer me lunch, but I told her I wasn't hungry and that I wouldn't be long, just needed a few things. Before I could proceed, she said she had something to show me. She pulled out her phone and showed me a message she received two days ago from her former manager who betrayed her. It was from a new number since she blocked his old one. Apparently, my wife helped her former friend expose him to all relevant parties and he was fuming. She said she got the idea from chump lady and marriage builders. She thought by exposing the secret, she was removing its power as well as giving us a fighting chance. I told her I was glad she had the courage to do that, but it doesn't change anything between us. I also informed her that I will be stopping marriage counseling, but will do individual counseling instead. This made her sob softly and she said she understood. I know I'm supposed to feel either elation of the actions taken or rage because it took this long, but I feel numb towards her. This isn't normal, hence why I want to address it in individual counseling and not marriage counseling. I have also seen a divorce lawyer at my brother's recommendation, just to be safe. As of now, I'm not really willing to fight for this marriage, and it seems my wife can sense it. Before I left, she tried to initiate intimacy, but when I refused, she yelled and asked what does my lover do for me that she can't? What does she, lover, give me that she, wife, can't? She, in a voice so loud, I am sure the neighbors heard it, said that whatever it was I wanted, she, my wife, would do it. I shook my head and told her if she couldn't tell after all that's happened, then it's clear where our marriage is headed and left. Let's wrap up this episode with a couple comments. First, from Cuckington the Butler. What does my lover do for me that she can't? What does she, lover, give me that she, wife, can't? Respect, loyalty, and fidelity are the concepts that escape your former wife. She opened the marriage so the manager and any other man that she fancied could use her as the town bicycle for a year. Keep moving forward, friend. There is nothing to return to. Your wayward wife happily gambled that you had less value as a partner than she did, that she could do as she pleased, and you would be around if something better didn't work out. Our friend Captain Hook responds again. His soon-to-be ex-wife will be pining for him for years, if not the rest of her life while he will be riding into the sunset with his girlfriend, enjoying life. This is a success story in the making. And the best thing about it is, he did not even do a bad thing in this situation. The victim, OP, gets rewarded in life. And that rarely happens. 